The question that is asked, Dear Anonymous, how do I get rid of the feelings of anger when dealing with people and circumstances? The basic thing that has to be understood is when you are angry or when you're upset, you mustn't judge yourself. You mustn't judge the other person. Just be aware of the emotion that's bubbling up. And in doing so, you get to be aware of the triggers that are within you. This tendency to overreact, where cortisol and adrenaline is being pumped up in your system. It's a strong reaction to the narrative of what the other is doing to you. Something on the outside, you've given power to affect your emotional state, your sense of being. Be present with it. Just watch. There are moments where it's so intense that you don't feel there's nothing that you can do it. And that's understandable. But you have to think twice about giving all of your energy to this anger. Because obviously you know every cause is going to have an effect. And that's going to create your karma. You so strongly identify with the feelings of anger, whether it be betrayal, being mistreated. All of a sudden, there's a dualistic split, and it gives a strong sense of personhood. This person did this to me, and so there's a retaliation to try to protect the wound, the sore spot that's coming from the blow of another. In watchfulness, you are the observing self that's witnessing all that's happening. But the deeper aspect of witnessing is not touched by this. The surface aspect of yourself appears to be. That's the me and my personality, my body, my identity, and my story. And so there's this need that if something is taken away from you, which is your peace, which is your sense of security or control. You feel now you have to rush to take back whatever has been taken from you by taking it from another individual or circumstance. You feel as though there is a hole in you that needs to be filled up with more of who you think you are because that self-image has been violated. And now you feel a piece of you is missing, as a child would feel when they identify with a toy and somebody else is playing with the toy, their possession. Then all of a sudden, anger flares up. And you have to either grab the toy back or go and find something that belongs to them, symbolically or what they identify with, to hurt them. It is in the same way. Anger always stems from the feeling of loss of control. You're not only angry at the individual for feeling that it took away your sense of control, but you're angry at yourself for allowing it to happen and doing nothing about it, which creates great fear. You feel as though the rug is pulled from underneath you. And now you have to find ground. You have to find surface at all costs, or there's going to be retribution. So recognize that this is done only to the one who identifies with the person. Feelings of anger can rise up and there's nothing wrong with that. It is simply a lower vibrational energy field that arises in your mind. Then thought patterns and feelings start to reflect the energy of anger. It's about the investment that you pour into the anger your association, identification to the anger. If anger does come up, witness it, observe it for what it is, and just let it go. Don't cling to it. Don't rush to try to change it. Just be aware and look at it from an outside perspective. The more you give it some space and you imbue it with presence, the less power it has or control it has over your being. 
so it won't affect you or invest in you as it can to create feelings later on, those feelings of regret and depression, and deep sadness, bitterness. You start to develop an identity around it, a narrative around it. It's going to come up. This is part of the human condition. You embrace it, and then you let it go. This way, you have the space, the distance, to look at it for what it is and learn from it. Learn more about how the body-mind operates, and that way you can develop more self-mastery. So then the next time it comes around, you're even more prepared than the first time. You see all the weak spots in the mind. And slowly but surely, self-discipline, self-mastery, proper discernment, and inner detachment becomes more strengthened. You start to recognize that it's not you that is angry. It is just the energy of anger that is flowing from within. This way, you can observe it. The witnessing consciousness in and of itself is the ultimate power. You're not trying to change you as the person in these circumstances. That would be too complicated. You are simply ascending to a deeper spiritual dimension within your being and perceiving the phenomena of anger. And in that present's power, the anger will start to transform and transmute on its own. The Tao does nothing, yet leaves nothing undone.